Welcome to Ask the Expert with noted radio host Steve Sleeper. Each week, Steve interviews entrepreneurs and professionals and shares their intriguing stories of success and service. Now, here's radio veteran Steve Sleeper. And welcome to another edition of Ask the Expert. We're talking with uh, personal injury attorney Paul Sanders today, a law firm of Sexton and Sanders in, in Fort Smith, Arkansas. Paul, how you doing? I'm good, Steve. Thank you. Good, good. Well, hey, hey, Paul, tell me a little bit about your firm and yourself. You know, Steve, I was born in this town of Fort Smith, Arkansas, and uh, over 50 years ago, I grew up here. I went to law school in northwest Arkansas. Seems like I know half of the people around here at least. And uh, this law firm actually got started back in the 50s by my stepfather, Sam Sexton. He was a uh, well-known lawyer here and until 2000 and of course then I kind of picked up where he left off but um, you know he always believed in we don't represent insurance companies we represent people uh, every case is a unique case where we're given the opportunity to be creative with what we do for them and uh, and that's what we do and uh, you know people come in and and uh, and you know we like to meet with them personally, figure out what the problem is, and make the try to create the best solution for them. You know, it's not a cookie cutter thing for us. It's not a conveyor belt thing for us. It's a personal relationship with our clients, and and that's a that's a little bit about what we do. Yeah, you know, and and Paul, I've noticed that just about every attorney I, I've met, it's about being of service to the client. But I've especially noticed that with with personal injury attorneys. It's about the whole service thing. Um, and, and, you know, I, that, I, I guess that brings me kind of to my next question. I, I, and I'm guessing the most common question you get is, won't the insurance company take care of me? Oh, well, won't they take care of you? Well, you see, the problem is, it's not in their best interest to do so. Um, it's in their best interest to make sure you, to, for them to make them, to make you think you're getting taken care of when you're really not. Right. Um, you know, here's the deal. The way it works on my side, people think, well, why would I want to help the client get the best deal? I want to help the client get the best deal because for every dollar I put in the client's pocket, I'm making money. So it makes sense for me to add up those dollars to the biggest pile of dollars that goes in their pocket is what I can. That's not true for insurance companies. It's the reverse. Now, they can come out, shake your hand, tell, make you think they're nice people, but at the end of the day, it's the dollars that's going in the client's pocket that matters. And to them, every dollar they save is a dollar earned. And and, and they're about maximizing shareholder value and, and, and saving money on insurance claims. Now, if, if I've been in an accident, do I always need an attorney? Well... I can't tell you that everybody needs an attorney, but the thing of it is, if you've been in an accident, there's probably something that some part of the body that's been injured. Sometimes it's minor, sometimes it's major, sometimes it doesn't show up for a while, sometimes it doesn't show up for a long time. But in any event, I think it's best to get checked out by medical professionals and get checked out with your lawyer and see if there's anything. And you know, I've had people come to me and they say, hey, this happened. And occasionally we see one and we go, you know what, let me give you some free legal advice. Here's how you can handle this on your own. And I don't charge them anything. And if they don't need a lawyer, that's great. But they get the peace of mind of knowing they checked, they got a good advice, and, and then they went on. Now, the other 99% of the people who are injured, you know, those are the people we help and are glad to do so. Yeah, absolutely. Um what should we look for in a personal injury attorney? Experience. Okay. You know, um, as I mentioned, my stepfather started doing this in the 50s, and I picked up where he left off. And, you know, I, I learned from his experience. He passed it on to me. Uh, I've been doing this for 20 years. And, and you know, I know... On the outside of this, people think it's simple. They ask their cousin, who's a paralegal, you know, whatever, uh, to tell them how to do a case. But, you know, every case is different, and, and they're not as simple as a lot of people would think. you got to have the experience to know where the loopholes are that you don't want to get caught in, and you need to know where the traps are 
on the uh, on the paybacks because sometimes people get money back and then they realize they've gotten themselves into a situation that wasn't profitable. They thought it was profitable on the front end, but now they're facing medical bills on the back end or facing segregation from other insurance companies and everybody got their hand out and they all got their hands out for more money than what they got to begin with. So they're actually upside down in the case when they thought they were walking away with money. We know how to do that, and we also have experience, and this is another thing you look for in a personal injury attorney, do they have the experience for the type of injury you've got? You know, it could be a death case, it could be a brain injury case, could be a paralysis case, an amputation case. might be just a simple sprain and strain case, but you need to be with a lawyer who's got experience in the area and with the type of injury you're dealing with. Okay, so let's say I, I've been injured, and I know this is a very open-ended question, but I've been injured. I'm probably not thinking real clearly, you know. I've been in a car accident, let's say. Uh, sure. w- w- what, what should I know in advance? Well, what you ought to know in advance is, number one, there needs to be a police report. Some people <clears throat> think, well, you know, they told me, hey, here's my insurance information, I'll drive away. Don't fall for that. If there's not a police report documenting the thing, it makes it harder to make your claim. It sheds doubt on what was going on there. So first thing is call the police, get make sure there's a report done. Even if it's on private property, they'll do a different kind of report on private property. Make sure there's a police report done. Second of all, go to the emergency room and get checked out. You know, go in there and get checked out because some people are injured and don't know it. You're right. There's adrenaline running through your veins, which um, inhibits pain. I've had that from a personal experience. I was in a wreck one time, and I was so upset. I was at the scene for about 30 minutes. I thought it was okay, but when they said, okay, you can leave now, I could hardly walk. Um, it was because of that adrenaline. You think you're okay, and then you find out later you're not. So anyway, you got a police report. Go get checked out. Third thing is, know in advance who's your lawyer yeah. and call them. Yeah, I, I would think that's the things you need to know in advance. Okay, that that yeah that that is good advice. Now, you you talked about there there's a free consultation, so you, you you know you can kind of find out if you need to do something, and if so, what you need to do is 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 there any other cost associated with with hiring you or hiring any personal injury attorney? Well, usually it's done on a contingent fee basis. That means like a no win, no fee, and that's what we do. Um, we have a fee that it's 99% of the time it's a fixed fee that that we do on a contingent fee basis. Now, in addition to that is case expenses. And, you know, what I call a fender bender case, a minor sprain and strain, usually it's a few hundred bucks for getting some um, medical records and things like that. It's usually minimal. Now, Some people have cases that have to be litigated. In in other words, we've got to go file a lawsuit. When we file a lawsuit, we don't count those expenses in hundreds of dollars. They actually get higher. But we don't go and file a lawsuit just to get a little more fee and run up expenses. That that would be pointless. It's actually, it, it doesn't make it more profitable us to do that. But for some people, it's got to happen, and you got to file a lawsuit. you got to fight to get their claim and get what they deserve. So there are case expenses involved, but we try to keep them to a minimum. And, you know, sometimes we, if the case is lost, we eat those. You know, it happens. But uh, we get paid back those on the tail end if we get a recovery for that client. Okay, so it's about, you know, definitely about taking care of the client, any, any sort yeah. of uh, yeah. expenses in, involved. Yeah. In okay. other words... They can come down here and see me, and they don't need to have any money in their pocket. The idea is when I get done with their case, I'm going to be putting money in theirs. Okay, okay. So I've been injured. I I get treatment. I go see the doctor. Uh, You know, I, 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 I start healing. It is, you know, maybe I'm released from treatment. Then, then what happens down the line? Well, I'm not sure on your question. I, I would want to make sure that, that you are coming to see me early on. Okay. You know, some people call me the day of an accident. Some people call me a day or two later. When people call me six months down the road, that means there's a lot of damage done to their case, maybe just by doing nothing. Um, and I, 
I will take those cases, but a lot of times they're not as fruitful to those clients as what they would be if they if I had seen them, uh, you know, on day two or three or four within the first week, let's say. Um, there are certain things that need to be done, certain things that need to be documented properly. We need to make sure those things are getting documented properly because if they're not documented properly, they didn't happen. In other words, a person can be injured if they're not going to the doctor or going to the right doctor for the right thing and they wait too long, then it creates a suspicion that that injury didn't come from that wreck Okay. or that there is no injury whatsoever. Okay, I, I I understand. Now, I I assume that the most common question you get is, "Won't the insurance company take care of me?" Is uh, it, it, any other uh, common questions besides that? Uh, are you saying that the client asked me? Yeah, that the client asked you. Yeah. You know the client, the client. A lot of times they come into me and they say. What's my case worth? And of course, they're here on day two, three, four, you know, something like that. And they're saying, "What's my case worth?" And I said, "Well, I don't know. It's going to depend on what's wrong with you." But the idea is that the more injury you have, the more money I'm going to put in your pocket at the end of this case. That's that's what we're trying to achieve. That's the goal we're trying to achieve for them. Of course, I don't want somebody to be hurt bad just so they're going to get more money. That doesn't make sense. I don't think that's what life is about. But uh, I tell them my goal is is that when we're done, I want them to leave my office with a check in their pocket and a smile on their face. And they say, well, how much is the check going to be? I say, well, I don't know, but I hope it's enough to put a smile on your face. And that's what we do the vast majority of the time is people leave here with smiles on their faces and check in their pocket. Is there is there anything else I, I, I should know if I've been injured? Do you think we covered it all here? <laughs> I'm sure we haven't covered it all. I think that's why they call it the practice of law, because there's always a, a twist or a turn in every different case. But, you know, I would encourage people, call me or call an experienced uh, personal injury lawyer if you've been in a car wreck or if you've had some, you know, some there's products liability, people get injured by machines, car wrecks. We even handle, sometimes there's single car wrecks, and people don't realize this. There are some people out there, and they even cause their own wreck by their own negligence. And sometimes the car, the safety features of the car fail. The door, the door latches don't hold up, or the airbags don't go off, or the airbags do go off and they injure you, or uh, the roof caves in in a rollover and injures people. Roofs shouldn't cave in just because the car rolls over, or the ABS brakes don't work right, or the tires come apart, or there's all sorts of things that happen. Uh, and they're one car wreck. So we even take some of those cases and are able to turn those things around to where it makes a difference in those people's lives. The point is, if you're injured, give us a call. Talk with us. We'll invite you down. We'll sit down with you. We'll talk about it. If there's a way to make something of it, to make their life better, then, then that's what we want to do. Can't always do it, but we're always willing to talk. And, and and what's your phone number, Paul? Our number here is 479-782-3434. And, and why, why don't you go ahead uh, and, and uh, give us the website as well so people can check you out. Yeah. We're at www.sextonsanders.com. And our guest today on Ask the Expert, Paul Sanders with the uh, Sexton and Sanders Law Firm in Fort Smith. Paul, thanks. You bet, Steve. Glad to do it. Thanks for listening to Ask the Expert with Steve Sleeper. Join us next time as entrepreneurs and professionals share their intriguing stories of success and service.